All right, guys, I'm going to get ultra, ultra detailed here on how I tie my drop shot hook knot. And uh, I had a guy named Luis on my Instagram channel who was uh, so frustrated with the idea that he could not get his hook to stand out straight on the line, which is what really gives these drop shots their action. It's very, very important to have that drop shot hook setting straight out perpendicular to the line. So I'm going to do what I can with what kind of camera equipment I have here. Hopefully everything will be a focus, everything will be detailed enough to show you exactly what I do to get my hook to stand out perfectly straight on the line so that RoboWorm gives it that perfect dance that it's uh, known to do. All right, guys, so here we go. Really, really simple and very important. You're taking your little RoboWorm rebarb hook, if that's what you're using, any hook's gonna matter, but it's got to go in the point side. So let me get this boat set up here. Hold on one second. Oh, we're about to drift into shore challenges of trying to show you guys stuff while I'm on the boat. But here we go. Again, you're taking your line and you're putting that in point side through the eye. Okay, we're going to do just a polymer knot. So we're going in point side. All right, you're going to bring out enough to satisfy whatever length drop shot you want from the hook to the actual sinker. So I usually do about 12 to 14 inches or less. Do a little longer is going to give you a little bit of room to trim down or lengthen it or shorten it as needed. So there's the tag end, which is gonna become the point where you put the drop shot sinker. All right, this is crucial. I hope you guys can see this, maybe on that black surface, but there's two perfectly, perfectly parallel lines. So you do not want those to cross. You don't want those to twist. You wanna keep those as parallel as you can. All right, so what you're gonna do is now do your polymer knot. Get that super parallel line and do that really be real meticulous about it guys all right make that a perfect little overhand knot with the two lines parallel all right always wet it and pass it through just like you're doing everything normal with a polymer knot but guys i'm telling you having that parallel line situation is absolutely crucial if you want this hook to stand out straight so there we go we're going to pull the tag end only just the tag end so you're bringing that in real slow and you see how that's really coming in real clean Nothing's overlapping, nothing's nothing's causing any bundle of it. So there you go. That's It's standing out pretty darn straight with just that polymer knot if you do it. But you see it's kind of drooping down. And the next most important routine, guys, I know a lot of you guys have seen this. But for those of you who don't know, it's so important. Take the tag end and you're going to pass it back through the eye of the hook. Again, point side first. So just put that straight through the eye. I can see it. There you go. Again, no twist, it's straight through the eye of the hook. Bring it on out. You're gonna bring that straight down. And now what you're gonna get is an absolutely perfect perpendicular hook to the line. So there's your there's your rebarb hook sticking straight out. It's just a polymer knot. <coughs> Excuse me. Polymer knot with a line passing back through it point side first. There's anywhere from 12 to 14 inches. You can play a little bit and keep it a little bit longer. You can put your sinker on wherever you want and have a little bit dangling. There's what I've been using today, which is just a teardrop. I had a little cylindrical one. I lost it. It actually fell off. These guys hold on really good. But at this point, you're just going to take your drop shot hook. Easiest thing in the world right here, guys. Figure out what length you're going to be at. That's about how long I like mine. A little over 12 inches. It's working today. A little a little hangover there is okay. You can lengthen it up a little bit if you feel like the fish are a little farther off the bottom. And there's that perfectly, perfectly lined up drop shot hook. Ready to roll, ready to roll. We'll get another robo worm on there. Let's see if we can catch another fish. Hope that helps, guys.